Cameron for Tweak Town, back again for another CES video. Uh, we're here at the Sapphire Suite at the MGM Grand, and we just found Bill. Um, hey and uh, I believe he has some new products to show us. Well, yeah, I mean, we're showing off uh, for the first time uh, the new high end graphics card, the HT7970. And uh, for the purpose of the show, we've actually got it mated with our brand new X79 uh, motherboard supporting the latest uh, 2111. Uh, chipsets from Intel. Yeah, and you've also got a, the brand new 7970 in there as well. That's right. So uh, we're seeing uh, pretty good performance because uh, for the first time both of these products are supported by PCI Express 3. Okay. Moving over, there's more products. Yeah, we're also showing for the first time our Fusion-based mini PC. Uh, we introduced the Edge HD series last year, but this is the first product to have the E450 inside. We have a USB 3 on the front. We have a full quota of wireless and uh, conventional LAN, uh, USB ports on the back, and HDMI am out for the uh, for the TV. Okay. Then, Bill, when do you think this will be coming onto the market? Um, well, this is uh, just pre-production now, so we should be shipping them out by uh, middle of February, Jeff after Ruff? Chinese New Year, hopefully. Yeah, and do you have a rough idea on the cost? Uh, I think it's going to be the same ballpark as the current models, so around uh, just under three hundred dollars. Cool. Now this is this is a cool demo here. Can you show us what's happening here? Yeah, this is a brand new product we call the Vid Two X. Uh, I'll show you the little box separately on its own. Uh, basically, it splits a video signal, so we can take a DisplayPort or Thunderbolt input, and we have another model that supports uh, dual-link DVI, um, and the output is two DVI HD outputs. So it doesn't matter whether you've got a MacBook or some kind of a PC, we can display full HD across two monitors. Uh, you, just doing a close-up there, which shows we've got a little selection of switches and a status display there. So that tells you exactly what the box is doing. We can actually switch the box to do clone mode, so you have the same two images on the same image on both displays, basically. Or we can do stretch mode, where the single image is stretched across both screens, and it's like a single layer surface. Okay. Can can you show us maybe some what, what some of the functionality is? Because I see you've got it hooked up here. Yeah, we can uh, run a video here, and we can actually show that uh, we can run that video. Uh, maybe. You want to play? Yeah. So we can move, the, you know, like we can move that video around. We can show that's a continuous surface, okay, across the two screens. So we could be running that full screen, or we could be running it cloned across the screens. And you could even bring it down to show part of the on the MacBook, right? So it's running uh, yeah, three screens. Yeah, it's running. A, a, it's supporting all three screens simultaneously at the moment. Yeah. So yeah, this is definitely handy. Like this is MacBook Pro set up here. So obviously the, the the output is display output is a bit limited. This is just uh, coming off the Thunderbolt output of the portable. Yeah. So it's like a mini display port, and we supply the cables with the device to convert from uh, Thunderbolt to a regular DP signal. Um, the, the great thing about this, as I say, is you maybe in an educational environment, you might want to have two displays either side of a classroom. You can just hook up your laptop and have you display your images up on the main screens. Uh, the key thing about the box is that all the clever stuff is done inside the box. You don't need to have any special drivers. You don't, it doesn't care what operating system you're using, whether it's Windows, Mac, or Linux, anything. Um, so it just really is easy. Literally plug it in, and wow, you've suddenly got two screens and a choice between a single layer surface across both screens or two cloned images. Okay. Now, Billy said this is already shipping. Uh, what's it going to cost someone in the US? Here? Uh, 179 dollars is uh, is the standard price. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you, Bill, for the introduction of your new products. You're welcome.